Hey guys, welcome back to the laboratory. In this video, we are looking at catalyst and activation energy. By the end of this video, you should be able to define the term catalyst, explain how catalysts are useful, and explain how catalysts speed up chemical reactions. So, let's go. Catalysts are the backbone to many industrial processes that are necessary in turning raw materials into useful products. By definition, a catalyst is a substance that speeds up the rate of a chemical reaction. However, when doing so, the catalyst does not change the products of the reaction and is not chemically changed or used up. For example, let's say we have a reaction whereby reactants A and B react to form product C. When the reaction takes place in the absence of a catalyst, the rate of reaction is very slow. However, when the same reaction takes place with the use of a catalyst, the rate of reaction is much faster. Despite this, you'll notice that the products of both reactions are the same. A catalyst works by lowering the activation energy required for a reaction to begin. Remember, the activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to occur. If the activation energy is not met, then the reaction cannot occur. Lowering the activation energy of a reaction means that the reaction can take place much sooner, and thus, the rate of reaction is much faster. In simpler terms, a catalyst provides an alternative reaction pathway that has a lower activation energy. In this visual example, the blue car represents a reaction that is taking place without a catalyst, and the red car represents a reaction that is taking place with a catalyst. Without a catalyst present, the blue car must use this route to reach the end of the reaction pathway, a route which is much longer and requires more energy to complete. In contrast, with a catalyst present, the red car can take this alternative pathway. You'll notice that the destination for both reactions are the same. However, the reaction with the catalyst simply offers an alternative pathway that requires less energy and is therefore much faster. We can use a reaction profile to demonstrate the effect of a catalyst on the rate of a chemical reaction. Reaction profiles are used to show the energy changes that occur during a chemical reaction. Much like we saw in the previous example, this blue line represents our blue car, the reaction that is taking place without a catalyst. And this red line represents our red car, the reaction that is taking place with a catalyst. At the start of both reactions, the reactants have the same amount of energy. However, our reaction without the catalyst must reach this energy level before the reactant particles have the correct energy to successfully collide and form the products. When the same reaction takes place with a catalyst, this red line indicates that the energy level that must be attained before the reaction may occur is much lower, and therefore the reaction happens much faster. As mentioned earlier, the catalysts do not change the overall outcome of the reaction. So you'll notice here that the overall energy change between the reactants and the products is the same for both reactions. Here's an example of a past paper question that I'd like for you to attempt to test your understanding of the content covered in this video. Pause the video and take your time to work it through. Press play once you're ready to check your answers. Some reactions are affected by the presence of a catalyst. State the effect of a catalyst on a reaction and devise a simple experiment to find out what happens to the mass of a solid catalyst during a chemical reaction. These questions are nice and straightforward, so we can get stuck straight in. Our answer to the first question can be written in one of two ways. You could either state that a catalyst increases the rate of a chemical reaction, or that it lowers the activation energy of a chemical reaction. Either of the two responses will achieve your mark here. Our final question is just as straightforward. How can we devise a simple experiment to find out what happens to the mass of a solid catalyst during a chemical reaction? Well, at the start of the reaction, we will measure the mass of the catalyst. That's our first mark. Our second mark is for stating that, once the reaction is complete, we will dry off the catalyst to remove any excess liquid which may affect the accuracy of your results. And our final mark is for stating that, 
At the end of the reaction, we will measure the catalyst again and compare the reading to the very first reading taken. So, how did you do on this question? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, that's it for this video guys. Thank you for joining me in the laboratory. Please leave a like on this video if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another one. See you soon!